Welcome everyone to another video here in this 84 part series. I believe this is video 83 or 84, it's something somewhere along those lines. Soon to be 48, which is a significant milestone for me on this channel. This video's topic is going to be a very special one and one that I've wanted to talk about and share my experience with for a very long time, but never got the chance to manage it, never recorded it. But here it is. The topic is semen retention and the benefits of semen retention now obviously this is for men men only women can't retain their semen they have nothing like that this is very different for women but as a man nature has given you a huge fortune that you can cultivate your you can cultivate life itself actually because semen is of an extraordinary potency as Sadhguru says and it has the ability to create life and when enough is stored in the body and you have some spiritual practice then the body will start to transmute the sexual energy towards something called ojas i've never heard this term before uh, until Sadhguru mentioned it and it clarified the subject for me. This is like a light that is being built around your body. The more semen you have inside your body, the more light you can create. Ultimately, it takes a certain cycle, maybe around six or seven years, for the body to fully encompass itself around light. And so yes, that's it. Another thing, another important thing to mention here is that I'm going to start a new topic here, a new subject, or a new idea. Is that the sexual act is only meant to be for creating children. That's actually what it is for. And there are ways you can bypass this. But you can never bypass um, spilling your, your semen. You can never bypass the significant repercussions that come about when you release your sexual energy as a man. And there are significant consequences, which I will get to shortly. Because this act is mainly designed to produce children, nature gives huge a, a huge reward for this pursuit but also it takes a gigantic toll on the body it's a gigantic toll it takes so much food so much nutrition to create semen what we call semen a tremendous amount much more than it causes uh, much more than to create blood for example so when you let go of this, this uh, substance, uh, it would be better off if you were to inject a needle into your arm and suck out blood and throw the blood into the floor. That would be less consequential than you ejaculating even one time a month. 